let us start at the beginning, the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is really about collecting information. Pentacles are about earth things. Um, so physical things. So you may be collecting physical things. You may be collecting information um, to do something physical. Uh, you may have gone back to school, taking a class, or even teaching one. Uh, but this does look like you are collecting information and that there's an exchange of information. So it could be on the Internet. It could be in person. could be in a class. could be at work. Uh, but it does look like currently you are collecting the information that you need. What crosses you here is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is, is a lot of ideas coming down. It does feel like you may be a little overloaded right now. Right now, this may uh, be with work. It does feel like your plate is a little full, although there's a lot of great ideas coming down from the heavens. Um, uh, I am feeling the message. Just pick one and finish it to completion. Don't over overrun yourself. I know Geminis, you are the greatest multitaskers on the planet. My ex-husband's Gemini. He could have a baby on the hip, talk on the phone, make dinner and solve the world's problems. It was amazing. Just amazing what you guys can juggle. So that's what it feels like, even though that's what you do good, do well. It doesn't mean you always have to do that. It doesn't mean you always have to take on everybody else's projects that they are not able to complete because you know how to do it. Pick one thing to completion and don't overload yourself if it's all possible. If you can delegate some of this work to other people, I would suggest doing that. Having a conversation with with your boss um, on how that looks for you but it does feel like you're getting a little overloaded you're trying to appease too many people at once if this is not work related um, but it does feel like you've picking on you've taken on more than you can handle right now so don't be afraid to delegate or to just let some things fall it's better than creating illness or dis-ease in your body because you have over um, committed yourself so two of swords is here and the two of swords is a very protective and that too you can see her hands are right over her heart so it does look like that you are protecting your heart um, or you have been working on the pain that you have um, from a past relationship or a past heart betrayal shall we say it doesn't necessarily have to be like a marriage or a relationship but it does feel like you have been guarding your heart for a really long time and for those of you in relationships you may be pulling back from your partner a little bit and being a little bit more guarded with them um, but it does look like things are moving along here. The lovers is here, new love is there. Um, so it does look like you'll be able to resolve and to heal that part of your heart that you are currently working on or protecting. The four of wands is here. This is jubilation, celebration, getting out of the cave, you know, start saying yes to some of those invitations, Gemini. Um, start getting out in the world a little bit, but it does look like um, some joyous connection has happened there is in the past position so you may have come back from a wonderful vacation you may have had a high school reunion um, reconnected with friends of the past old work buddies but it does look like something helped you find your smile just recently and kind of um, made it easier to do the day-to-day -day things but that four of cups is here sometimes it means weddings it's usually social gatherings of great joy so um it does look like you took the time to enjoy yourself a little bit during the summer. Uh, so this could be a vacay where you connected with some folks, family reunion, something like that. But it does look like that you were able to find your smile a little bit through the summer. Eight of Cups. This is the I've tried everything, but I got a walk away card. It is on the line of uh, some of these uh, over helpful -itis things here. So you may have to walk away from some things that you have committed to. Uh, it does feel like you have over committed to you and it's just not humanly possible. I know you guys multitask like crazy, but you got to give yourself a little break or it will, um, kind of uh, chip away at you emotionally, spiritually, physically. And you know, when we over, overextend ourselves. Um, usually our body takes a hit. So be really careful of overextending yourself, sweet Gemini, so you don't create dis-ease. And that can be anything from a cold to something more serious. So um, 
you may have to walk away from something that you already committed to. Um, you know, you can always reschedule, but if it is not conducive to your growth or your personal health or furthering you, it really does not serve you. So you may have to walk away from something. And that is in the present position right now. The page of pentacles is here. Pentacles are about material things. Pages are about messages. Um, and pentacles can be good news about money, uh, can be rewarding material goods, worldly ambition. So you may be getting, you know, since you've overloaded your plate and it does look like you do that quite often, you may be getting a raise or some kind of honoring, some kind of good news for your contribution. So that is what it's feeling like more so for some of you, but for others, this does feel like it may be an earth sign. Uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, it is in a page um, body, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a male or a female, but it does feel like either a child or um, a someone younger than you, uh, you're a little worried about. It uh, looks like maybe some of their uh, choices in the past have not really been in line with, with what you would advise. This may be your child. This may be a sibling. Uh, it does look like somebody that you advise and that someone is close in your heart for many of you. But it does feel like that earth sign, that Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn um, needs a little bit more guidance or tutelage although I'm getting this really strong message no matter what I say they don't listen until they fall on their face and they're completely broken helpless so just stand by them emotionally <laughs> if they don't listen sweet Gemini most kids don't I know mine don't <laughs> anyway so um let them learn their lessons the way that they must learn them. Uh, but it does look like your love and support and your encouragement is still needed. Even if they are a grown, a grown folk, um, even our kids, when they are over 30, they still need us. So, um, but for the most part, this page is about worldly things, material things, getting honored for that. But there is a shade of um, an earth sign in there too. So five of swords is here uh, and five of swords, you know, fives, fives really are kind of the tumultuous part of, um, of a lesson. These cards go from ace to 10 um, uh, in the main, main, uh, minor arcana and the middle card is the five and the five usually is something that is a challenge of some kind, something that reared its ugly head again. And the sword is all about communication, intellect. So it does feel like you may be in a little bit of a debate with someone, some disagreement, and that might be what you have to walk away from as well. This is feeling more on the professional level than on a personal level. It may pertain to some of you on a personal level, so I don't want to negate that at all. But the Five of Swords does feel like you just don't want to fight. You just want to neutralize this and walk away. It does not look like you have a uh, pony in that race, shall we say. It does not look like it's something that will further your growth and your spiritual um, part of your spiritual agreement. So it does look like you are trying to um, diffuse a situation that really wasn't initiated by you, and but does affect you. It does affect you. And this most, uh, most likely is work-related. Three of Cups here, that's really finding your balance um, about mind, body, and soul. It's about feelings. It's about loving yourself and loving others and it does feel like you take a took a step up in your love space and that you're really celebrating with people getting out a little bit more um i know sometimes air signs can isolate very quickly uh, it does feel like you've been coming out of the cave a little bit more you've been joining the parties accepting the invitations and finding your smile a little bit these are on both sides of kind of the work stuff so it does look like it's not all about work for you anymore that you are finding your smile and you are connecting with the things people and places that are very important to you um so this four of wands is about celebration and this three of cups is really about celebrating jubilation reconnecting with people in your heart uh this may be you know connecting with the family and traveling with them since you know in the western hemisphere we just have past summer so there was a lot of traveling, a lot of reconnecting happening because of all those 
planets going retrograde. So it does look like you made a wonderful connection from the past that you are keeping up, that you are continuing to nurture in present time. Six of Pentacles is here. This is uh, about material things. This is finding balance about money. This can be uh, gifting or receiving. Um, it does feel like things in your money space are getting a little bit clearer. You may have, you know, finished paying off that student loan, finished paying child support. Um, something has come to an end financially, so you are able to have a clearer picture um, and a little bit more lucrative picture for the future on your money. I am getting a message that if you are helping someone financially, make sure that they are deserving and they haven't squandered their money and that you're cleaning up their messes. It does feel like if there was a squandering that happened on their part, that they need to take responsibility and feel the sting of what it is to be frivolous and not pay your bills first before you go buy things. So if this is a child, this is a partner, this is a friend, um, be very discriminative when you either loan or gift money because it does feel like you are just now getting back into balance but with these hands kind of out here going gimme 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 um the message that's coming through is make sure um that they are deserving before you help them they may need to learn the lesson on falling on their face and picking themselves up which for many if you squander your money means getting kicked out in the cold and living in your car what a great lesson that is uh-huh anyway <laughs> Then we have the Page of Cups. The Page of Cups. This is all about messages of love. Uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, sexual love. This can be love of family members, your children, your parents. But it does look like you have been getting more and more positive messages of love. The lovers is right on the side here. So you may be ready to open up to love again. And if you are currently in relationship space, this may mean just opening up, letting go of that protective part, uh, start merging a little bit more versus pulling back if you are in a current relationship. But this page of cups is right next to the lovers. So your love space is has been healing, has been healing. And I think you will see um, the positive outcome from doing that hard work um, and, and kind of trusting in your choices and trusting in your heart, trusting exactly where you are. Uh, but the lovers, don't, don't forget about them. They are here for a reason. So it does look like your heart is ready either to love again, uh, to love deeper, uh, to take your commitment to the next level. Um, and it can even mean love yourself truly and completely. The Eight of Wands is on the other side of here. Uh, this is a great card. I love this card. This is when all these great ideas are coming down from the heavens and it's kind of asking you for a little participation. You have great ideas over here with the Six of Wands as well as this, this Eight of Wands. So I know that your plate is, is a little full right now. So you know, maybe just write these things down. You don't have to um, manifest them all at once, sweet Gemini. Although I know if any sign on the planet could do it, it would be you. But I don't want you to exhaust yourself. But it does look like in this new space of joy and that you connected with people from the past and then kind of healing your heart, you're really exuberant about creating new things. This does feel like it's more on the personal level. So this may be... Um, finding a different place to live. This You may be bored with your job, um, just creating new things. Maybe you've always wanted to learn to belly dance, and that's one of your great ideas. So it does feel like doing things a little bit more for yourself on the personal level. We know you're a great employee. Um, so it's time to spread the love a little bit more in your personal level and, and take those classes you've always wanted to take. Do those things you've always wanted to do. All right, sweet Gemini, that is your reading. Uh, for the month of October, let me throw a couple of these clarity cards. They are uh, chakra cards and insecurity. All right, and the heart is lit up there. So it does look like you do vacillate back and forth between uh, certainty and insecurity. Um, see if you can live in the certainty a little bit longer than the insecurity, but it does look like uh, the questioning, am I enough, um, is sometimes holds you back from your greatness. 
and impartiality. So to be truly neutral to other people's jive. It does look like those scales, those balances. So you may have to be a little bit more neutral to someone who is very needy and has always been pretty needy. 